Good day, it's Nero again from Near Seasware. This time bringing you some speed testing on the 5G RAIN network that's been asked for. This follows the unboxing and setup tutorial that I did on YouTube, the link of which can be found on screen now. Hit the subscribe button if you want more of these reviews. So let's get going. I've used for this uh, testing two websites. One is ptest.net, an international website. The second is a local website, My Broadband, which gives you local configurations and local speeds. So let's look at My Broadband. Remembering the time is 10 p.m. past at the night. Uh, it's on a Wednesday evening. And you can see speeds at this time goes above the 300 megabits per second mark uh, with the ping at 12 milliseconds, which is not too bad if you want live stream gaming. It should be quite adequate for you. Uh, beyond 12 milliseconds, you might be actually getting some delays. So that's the download around 300. The upload, you're getting around 37. So it seems to be a 1 to 10 ratio of upload and download again. So that's my broadband. Let's go on to Speednet Ookla and have a look at those results. So again, ping, very good, 7 milliseconds. And it's going above 300, touching around 340. So around 350 would be your average download speeds, 328 and upload in the region of around 39. As you can see, my IP address as well as the referencing tower is about the RAIN registered networks. So final results on speed, net 7.328 download, 39 upload. So how does this compare to the internal speed speed matrix in the router itself, the Hawaii router. We're testing it on the activate.rain network website and you can see it's giving us a speed of around 400 megabits per second and if we redo it just to get an average reading of two to three results it's still in the region of 400 380. So it seems to be a bit overrated around maybe by 30 to 40 megabits per second so tying it all together what does it all mean for you out there in the world remembering this is a router that's indoors not situated outdoors based indoors average speed of around 300 to 350 megabits per second which for me it's good enough to do whatever i need to do so jitter is not shown but ping rates of 7 to 12 milliseconds not that bad it's comparable i would say to fiber so you can expect rates of around 300 depending on the area where you are a line of sight to the tower time of day as well because these readings do fluctuate over time so in a minute it could be 300 megabits the next minute it could be down to 100 and 50 megabits so there is some fluctuation to it but it's still well well above the rates of what fiber can get to it for to a normal average home